What if aliens are already here? No need to worry about invasions tomorrow, they're just chilling and hanging out. Well, time to talk about a new paper out of Harvard and how there might be proof throughout history that aliens are among us. So, what's going on? Some Harvard researchers are considering the possibility that aliens might be living among us undetected. Now, these reports are based on a theoretical paper that is in press in the journal Philosophy and Cosmology. The paper addresses the increasing interest in unidentified aerial phenomena. UAPs. So in 2017, footage of three US military encounters with UAPs were released, drawing global attention to the topic. This led the Department of Defense to confirm the footage's authenticity and establish the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. ARO. Since then, this office has investigated over 800 cases, with a small percentage unexplained. Their findings suggest that some UAPs exhibit characteristics that cannot be attributed to the US or other nations. So according to the Harvard researchers, explanations for UAPs generally fall into two broad categories, human-made technology or advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. However, they also explore a lesser known theory, the ultra-terrestrial hypothesis. This suggests that UAPs might be linked to intelligent beings concealed on Earth, possibly in underground environments or nearby locations like the Moon. This theory includes the crypto-terrestrial hypothesis, which proposes that beings might live among us disguised as humans. So what are all these hypotheses? So like I mentioned, the Harvard team discusses actually four possibilities. One thinks, well, an advanced ancient human civilization might have survived catastrophic events such as floods and continues to exist secretly. Another suggests that a non-human society evolving from intelligent dinosaurs or ape-like hominids could dwell underground. A third theory proposes that aliens might have traveled from the moon or other places and hidden themselves among us. Lastly, the magical crypto-terrestrial theory describes beings like earthbound angels with magical relationships with humans akin to folklore creatures like fairies and elves, though this idea is often dismissed due to its perceived oddity. The authors clarify that this paper is a speculative thought piece, reflecting their own interests and ideas. They emphasize that they believe their suggestions to be highly unlikely, but stress that they still merit future scientific investigation. It should be noted that the lead author, Dr. Tim Lomas, also sits on the editorial board of Philosophy and Cosmology and has recently published a similar theoretical paper in the journal. He is a psychologist with a background in well-being research raising questions about how much credence this paper may garner amongst the wider scientific community. The authors argue that the mysterious nature of some UAP incidents warrants serious consideration. The Harvard team calls for an open-minded approach, emphasizing the importance of exploring all possible explanations. So let's take a look back throughout history about evidence of aliens being here before us. For starters, the legendary Great Sphinx of Giza in Egypt holds the potential to unlock the mysterious hall of treasures of knowledge, according to some researchers who speculate that this hidden chamber could contain ancient documents from the lost city of Atlantis. The Daily Star reports on the belief that, yes, there indeed exists an alien library beneath the structure of the Sphinx, believed to hold knowledge left behind by extraterrestrial beings. While the Great Sphinx has long fascinated tourists worldwide, it might harbor this vast hidden library deep underground. Tombs are said to be located there, although they might have been destroyed by floods over the centuries. And all of this raises questions about the existence of an advanced society or the involvement of extraterrestrials in the creation of this mysterious library. The existence of the controversial Hall of Knowledge treasures remains a topic of ongoing debate. Nevertheless, there is a significant number of believers who argue that this supposed hall served as a repository for the history of the survivors of Atlantis. Approximately a century ago, researcher and clairvoyant Edgar Case first proposed the notion of Atlantis's involvement in the construction of the Sphinx. Experts, speaking to the Daily Star, said that the ancient Egyptians believed they originated from the stars and were returned there after death, possibly from the Orion constellation towards which the Great Pyramids of Giza align. It is said that an ancient library lies beneath the Sphinx, and it might hold some answers. Researchers like Robert Scosche have discovered signs of erosion by floods, suggesting at an age of maybe 10,000 years ago, much older than mainstream archaeologists assume. So increased interest in the Great Sphinx prompted an extensive study in 1999. So while Case provided a detailed description of the face and features of the statue, no evidence supporting his claims of a water shaft or other elements emerged. He was also the individual who introduced the concept of the Hall of the Treasures of Knowledge and offered a vivid account of the interior. Apparently, this site was used to safeguard artifacts from Atlantis. 
and apparently this library hall had a pyramid-shaped interior, and its discovery would have a profound impact on the world. Apparently these texts were written in both Egyptian and Atlantean, with the entrance hidden in the right paw of the colossal statue. In 2019, historian Matt Saban highlighted in a video on his YouTube channel that archaeologists had come across a concealed door beneath the Sphinx, possibly indicating the presence of something hidden. Okie dokie folks, time to explore the theory that aliens have underground bases here on Earth. On the surface, Dolce, New Mexico is just a small southwestern town. It doesn't even have a traffic light. But according to the most bizarre rumors, this little town is just a cap on a gargantuan underground facility that is home to unimaginable experiments and technologies. Allegedly, there's a whole world underneath Dolce, a secret, high-tech one filled with aliens. According to theorists, this subterranean base is a seven-story compound beneath New Mexico that houses human-animal hybrids, human-alien hybrids, and extremely advanced technologies. Apparently, it's also been the site of alien wars. You know, the Yush. Look, it hasn't been called the Roswell of northern New Mexico for nothing. The first claims of the base's existence, according to my sources, date all the way back to the 1930s. But rumors of an alien intervention in the area began to gain traction in the 70s, when a former New Mexico State Police Trooper named Gabe Valdez documented unexplained cattle mutilations in the area. In a radio interview, he said, The evidence that was left there, you know, predators. They don't leave gas masks, glow sticks, raider chaff. They don't leave that stuff. He made more wild claims in other interviews, including sightings of black, silent, sophisticated spacecrafts, and the discovery of uh, something inside a dead cow that didn't belong to a cow. He's like, it looks like a human, a monkey, and a frog. It didn't have any bones in the head. It was all full of water. And he's like, what else? Apparently these cows were incubating alien descendants. Now, Tim Anderson, a former police officer in the area, claimed to have seen a UFO in the town in the late 1990s. Apparently it lit up the whole valley and just disappeared into the rocks. He rubbed his eyes. He's like, did I really see that? The claims of the paranormal have come from many different times and people in the area. So never mind all that cattle stuff, by the way. Philip Schneider, a former explosive engineer employed by the U.S. government, introduced the idea of Dolce being a site of a brutal human-alien war. I mentioned that a moment ago. So he had high-level security clearance and claimed he helped construct a secret underground base in 1979. And that's where he witnessed the battle with subterranean aliens that left 60 humans dead. This alien war wages on to this day, apparently. Another key player in all of this, a man named Paul Benowitz. So he earned a PhD in physics and was convinced that the cattle mutilations were the results of extraterrestrials. He then allegedly began picking up intercepted electronic signals near the area, which was a town too small to receive such messages. He theorized that these signals were coming from the underground and going towards a target high in the sky. By the 80s, he was actively spreading his claims. And finally for today, theories about reptilian aliens able to disguise themselves as humans are nothing new. The entire basis of this theory is that in ancient times, a group of advanced reptiles from the Alpha Draconis star system came to Earth and infiltrated the governments of the ancient civilizations in order to control all the humans and become their rulers and breed with other humans to form crossbreeds so their DNA can infiltrate the minds of humans. With their DNA in our systems, they can control us by making us dumber, slower, and weaker, and therefore easier to control. Evidence for this DNA comes from the fact that in the early stages, developing embryos look a lot like reptiles, and you can classify that as such. If you don't believe me, we've done a lot of videos around here that feature real alien shapeshifters caught on camera, with actual footage. Recommend checking it out. These reptiles are also believed to make up the Illuminati and can take on human forms by creating vibrations that give us the illusion that they are human. So this theory first became popular in 1998 after a man named David Icke published his book called The Biggest Secret and Remains Popular Today. Along with his book, information about this theory is also widely available on the internet. Other YouTube videos. Forums. Articles. A simple way to prove the existence of lizard people is by recognizing the ones among us. According to an article titled How to Spot the Reptilians Running the U.S. Government, it provides a helpful summary of common characteristics. Low fluid pressure, random scars, a great love for space and science, an eye color of green, hazel, or blue that changes, and more. Further evidence exists in the form of video. Slowing down or pausing can sometimes reveal a glimpse of individual shapeshifting. Well, that's it for me once again, folks. I've been Alexa, your resident Nuki Spooky Girly. See y'all next time, you lovely spooky people.